guys, today I'm going to show you a makeup tutorial using this gorgeous dark colored burgundy lip. Is that what you'd call this color? I'm not exactly sure, but it is so beautiful. And in the past, these darker colors have really scared me away. I'm 22 and when I think of, you know, youthful colors, I think of peaches and nudes and pink. But I actually really love the look of a dark lip. And especially if you just go a little bit more natural with the makeup, nothing too heavy. This is something that you can wear day through to night and I really love this makeup. So I hope that you guys enjoy. Let's get started. So I've got nothing on my skin to start with and I'm going to prime. This is a new one by Napoleon. Then I'm going to apply my current favorite foundation which is the Giorgio Armani one. And then using this Yves Saint Laurent brush I'm going to just blend it lightly into the skin. Now with this Napoleon color wheel I'm going to apply this yellow shade. And I'm going to highlight, and I'm drawing that from the inner corner of my eye up the cheekbone. Using this little Sigma brush, I'm going to blend all that out. Then I've got a Makeup Store Cream Foundation in a darker shade and on a little blending brush by Dean Nixon, I'm going to blend that in under the cheekbones and along the side of my brow. Then using these little Golan beads of powder, <laughs> I'm going to set all the lighter areas. Then I'm going to take my YSL bronzer and on my really big YSL brush, which is perfect for this, I'm going to go over all of the contoured areas. So under the cheek, the brow, carefully around the nose, and maybe I'll just swipe some under my chin. Now moving on to my eyebrows and I'm going to use this Napoleon brow pencil. So that's the brows done and I did them with a pencil rather than powder because I want them to look a little bit imperfect. I want you to be able to see the hairs and everything. I just think that when you're going to be wearing such a vibrant lip, um, it looks good if the rest of your makeup's on the natural side. Then I'm going to take a gorgeous Chanel highlighter in this gold shade. Just on my makeup store fan brush and dust that over the cheekbones. This one isn't very pigmented, which usually is bad, but for this case, I just want something nice and subtle, so it's actually good. First time. Now moving to the eyes, and I'm going to prep them with a paint pot by MAC. Then, I just the other day received this Prismatic Eye Quad from Napoleon, and this is a new release product. And I'm taking a light shimmery shade, just on my YSL shadow brush, patting that all over the lid. Then I'm going to take my YSL bronzer again on a little blending brush and I'm going to use this as eyeshadow, just running that through the socket. Just dust off the brush a little bit and with that YSL brush take some more of the tan shade and run that under the eye. Next I've got this little brush by Sigma and it's very very tiny, it's kind of tapered. I'm going to be using this to etch a darker shade just through the outer half of my socket just to define the crease a little bit. And I'm going to be using that gorgeous dark chocolatey shade and very lightly draw that in and you can see what a great um, crisp line that makes. We will blend that out in a second though. Then take your blending brush and go over that. Then using my YSL felt tip liquid liner, I'm going to line a very thin line over the top lash line and then just thickening it up slightly toward the outer part. Then with the same dark brown shadow on the same little brush, I'm going to pat that over the top of the black just to soften out any edges. 
make it look a bit smoky. Then I'm going to use an Ico mascara. I like these because they're in a tube. I really, really like it. And then the lipstick color is YSL number 12, Rouge Volupt. So these are the really creamy lipsticks that I love. And I'm going to do a video on my whole collection of them because I've got 9, 17 colors, which I think is most of the shades. I think I'm missing like two or three maybe anyways i'm not sure but i'm just going to apply this over the lips and to finish off the look i'm going to apply some house of lashes eyelashes these are just full ones and i think these will just really give the look a bit of a boost And this is the finished makeup look. That's it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found maybe a new or more modern way to wear such a dark lip, something a bit more youthful. And I hope that you learned some new tricks. Please remember to leave my video a thumbs up, leave a little comment, and subscribe to my channel. And if I don't see you on my Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, I'll just see you in the next video. See you guys later.